I just got out of the bathtub, put my uh, whew, my clothes on. That's really, really comfortable. So look here, y'all. I am having fun all by myself. I hope y'all can do that as well. Y'all already know I'm happy. But look here. Uh, cheers. I'm going to be uh, on the phone with my children counting down so I want to do this video for you guys um, I don't believe in resolutions I just don't I never have I don't make them and whoever do it that's y'all thing not mine I don't really want to say happy new years because we don't know if it's going to be a happy year so my thought process is, uh, I'm going to pray for peace and strength that we can go through it because we don't know what days are coming. Just like 2020, everybody has some bad things to say about 2020. If you read your Bible, you know that that has to come and it had to pass. And that's what it did. Now, we had gladness. We had Happiness, we had sorrow, and we had sadness. I lost a few of my family members as well. But it, it had to come. It's written in black and white in your instruction book, that Bible. I don't curse what we gone, what we has gone through. We had to go through it. Because for a lot of us, it was some lessons that we needed to learn. And some of us, we didn't learn it. You know, God has his own way of telling us to be still. Like the Bible says, be still and wait. But sometimes we are in a hurry. We want everything that we want and what we need at this very moment. And it's just not the time frame that God set. So we try to do it by ourselves. And then we have to go through all the stuff that we have to go through because we messed it up. Okay. So... I'm not going to curse 2020 because we had to go through it. And I thank God for 2020. Period. And again, I pray for peace. And I pray for strength. And knowledge. Wisdom, too. Because we don't know what 2021 is going to bring us. But everybody says, kick 2020 out. Uh, this, this, this on 2020. That, that, that on 2020. All of you who said that, can you tell anybody, including yourself, what the 2021 days will bring you? Because none of us know. Because we only have one day at a time. So I'm going to pray for all of us like I do every single day. But I want y'all to think about that. Think about it. We don't know what's coming. We didn't even know what was coming at 2020. But if we're still here, <laughs> that's a hallelujah moment. It's a joy moment. Thank you, Father, for bringing me through it. So that's what I want you guys to pray for. Peace, wisdom, strength, and knowledge to go through whatever days that is coming. So if I don't get back here... Uh, because I'm pretty won't because I'm going to be on the phone with all my children and we're going to count down together. But look here. This is for all my husbands, new and old, men and women. Mm -hmm. May this year be peaceful for all of us. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cheers. I love y'all. Be safe. Pray at midnight and cook good food and love. <laughs> y'all already know it's just love. Peace out. I love y'all. Cheers. <laughs>